Well, this evening, <clears throat> I'm getting ready to do a repair on a uh, tube tester I picked up uh, a little time ago. I was also just looking at the uh, new format of YouTube. Uh, I guess it's okay. <laughs> I'll get used to it. Change is always inedible, isn't it? Anyway, uh, sitting here at the workbench, I, uh, I got a uh, tube tester, a Precision Apparatus 612, and uh, I, uh, it's a uh, fairly decent shape. Yeah, let's get this thing out. Definitely it's got a little bit of dirt on everything here. I'll get this cleaned up here a little later for the case. Paint. One of the problems I got when I uh, first got this, as you see, this is a uh, nail that's been placed in here. The uh, was missing here and I uh, just replaced it temporarily with a nail. It seems to be working okay. Uh, I did check out this meter after I got it and uh, everything was okay on it I thought as I was checking it out and one of the things that I did notice when uh, doing the line voltage was I couldn't get it up here past I guess that's the 60 meter reading there and uh, it was hanging. Consequently, I had to take the meter out, take it all the way apart, and uh, one of the things that I found, and delicately, I uh, had to clean uh, where the coil sits into uh, uh, the uh, pot metal. The pot metal had uh, corroded over the years, and uh, the uh, plating on that pot metal around the meter housing had uh, started to flake up. And causing all kinds of problems with that coil. I did get it cleaned out to the point that it was working and no longer hanging out. I uh, may have to go back in there and do a little more work on that. But it's just one of the things when you uh, buy something that's rather old and 60 plus years and I did get it off the west coast and uh, I got it up around the state of Washington so <laughs> uh, you know sometimes you gotta always think about uh, climate where you buy something or something's coming from and it did come from an estate sale so uh, those type of things will happen but it seems to be working other than the short light seems to uh, stay on at uh, almost every setting so there's one capacitor in this and I think it's a 0 0.01 at 600 volts that is actually fed in line with this sh uh, short indicator so uh, I'm going to go ahead and replace that one capacitor and see if that doesn't clear up the short problem. So we'll uh, see it, because I've tried about two or three tubes and it's, uh, it's the same on all of them. Back in a minute. Here's the uh, schematic for the 612. Here's the uh, capacitor that feeds up through this line that goes to uh, the neon light. I think those are both one meg uh, resistors on both sides of those. And uh, I'll check those when I get this out to make sure uh, they're still at one meg. And uh, we'll take a look at this. I uh, ordered uh, this from Electronic Supply, Antique Electronic Supply. I've never ordered from them before. But they'll let you uh, do any kind of order. They're a little pricey. Uh, I think they uh, favor uh, the audio value. And let's see. I went ahead and ordered two of these capacitors. And uh, wow. Hey, that made it worth it right there. A big old hunk of milk chocolate. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, my wife will be happy about that. I'll tell you. Yeah, 
I'm gonna get this thing tore apart and get that put in it and do a few checks and uh, we'll get this thing tested. All right, I've got it set up before I've done anything. This is a uh, 6T8A8 and uh, A, and I've got it set up. I've got uh, A to one, B to seven, uh, C is at ten, D is four. Now for the filaments, we've got that well centered, and for the first part of this triode, we're close to eight and nine and as you see the short indicator is on and it tests good it's a good tube all the way around on each one of the parts so now I'll take it apart we'll replace that cap I'll check those uh, two resistors and we'll repeat this test All right, I've got this thing all opened up. I've got it uh, turned upside down where you can see it. Uh, tube sockets uh, that's on the top of the uh, tube tester. They're all, wear they're all wired here in uh, parallel with each other. Uh, the uh, tap transformer rectifier tube uh, for calibrations. Uh, there's two rheostats, an arrow wound. Uh, this one here is uh, yeah, I need a little cleaning. I've loosened the uh, power board where the uh, capacitor is located. Put my hand out of the way, and you'll see it down there. It uh, looks yellow on the uh, monitor. It's a paper cap, and uh, I'll move this up and get that taken care of. And. Uh, well, that's fairly clean. The roller for the scroll. Well, let's heat up the uh, soldering gun. Uh, it looks okay. All right, I'll get the uh, solder sucker and the. Uh, Soldering station turned on over here. And, uh, we'll get to work on this little project right about now. All right, that was a uh, Real quick little operation. Got the old cap out. I put it on the uh, meter up here. Oh, point 0.143 microfarad. And, uh, well, that's uh, even past the 10% tolerance. Uh, I did check this one and uh, the other one that I did put in there, and they are exactly 0.102. So they're well within tolerance, and I'm sure this old thing here is uh, probably leaky as all get out. So we're about ready to uh, fire this back up and give it another test. All right, you can see on the scale, the uh, 6T8 is a triode, and there are several parts, subparts to it. Uh, section A to 1, section A is on 1, section B is 7, and section A is 7, and C is 10, and that's set well, a little low, 10, D is line four and that's up to D for return filament. All right, and uh, we're supposed to switch eight and nine to the normal position for test. So, yeah, let's give this here a shot and see. I'll turn it on, let it warm up, make sure the line voltage is right. 
that's right on with the two boring them up and look at there so we set these short indicators no longer lighting up so that was our problem with that and this warmed up let's give it a test and as you can see it is good I think I got a bad contact here on the switch or one of the rotaries I probably should go in there and clean that up well that's next I'm glad we got that problem fixed now I know if I've got shorts and tubes or not well that concludes this one thank you for watching again this is the precision apparatus series 612 uh, tube tester a very nice little unit for quick check on tubes thank you for watching